So the second thing we're going to do is a little bit more whimsical, but there's an important point here. This is a, a, a third-party piece of software that people generally use for doing red and CD plans. So it will do much more than that. Uh, generally, what, you, what it is is a tool for assigning people to seats subject to constraints. So if somebody has an idea about where they want to sit next to or who they don't want to sit next to, what this program does is it allows you to enter all that information, click a button, and what it will do is find the optimal seating arrangement, that is the one that minimizes the number of violated constraints. This particular piece of software, it took us two days to contact the guy who wrote it and retrofit it to our hardware. And that's a very important point, is that any software that solves one of these problems, it's usually extremely simple to just take out the solver that people are using, plug in our stuff, and very little effort, and the user experience doesn't change, except when we run it on the line, everything slows down a little bit. But ultimately, it will uh, uh, hopefully surpass the capability of the conventional system. So Dave presses the little wizard hat up there. This problem is sent back to the D-Wave on the computer, it's solved, and it spits back the answers exactly how I showed you. And if Dave presses a little lightning bar, what you see are the violated constraints. These are things that the problem couldn't, couldn't get around. If you were to seat these people where they wanted to create more problems, and that's a feature of these kinds of things, is that sometimes you just can't satisfy everybody. So, uh, maybe I should say it again, sometimes you just can't satisfy everybody. So, for example, Napoleon and Cleopatra really wanted to sit together, but it just wasn't in the service. 